Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge Day 238. That's correct. Let's get going. I just had a big day, but I've still got lots of energy because it was a good day. Did more stuff for our show we're putting on, getting closer and closer to prepared. All sorts of exciting things. Ljubljana, we're in Slovenia. A good start to today. No road numbers, but Ljubljana is to the southwest. Excuse me. As well as Tristreste. I think those might be different spellings. I think there's another sneeze coming. Oh, is it going to turn into a yawn? <laughs> Who knows? Um, let's have a look around more. What does this sign say? Uh, ooh. Luca Porto. Okay, so that just means port. And Karen Port is to the east. That means we're near the water. Yo, what happened here? Who are you? Italy? Why'd you steal so much of Slovenia's island? Probably Venice. I just saw a car and there it is. Um, we're looking for a pretty solid roundabout. Why is that section of road not labelled? That's weird. Um, I feel like we're going to be closer to Ankaran if we're um. Because it's, it's smaller than Ljubljana, like, Ljubljana's the capital, it's going to tell us we can get there from everywhere. Yeah, okay. It's, I don't know. Sad none of these have had, like, road numbers on them at all. By the way, that says HR. I have H6. Could there be a ridiculous... This really could be it. Look at all that crap around here. But, and Karen's up there. No, so it can't be there. Um, just a case of scanning the map a bit, I think. Do we have McDonald's? Hmm. Yeah, those signs, we must be so close to Ankara and Port. We've read that one. Time's about to run out. I like where I am, but I'm also not super keen on where I am. Let's see what happens. Did I put myself down there? I put myself like there. Oops, I just didn't mean to click on it. That's pretty good. That was still an incredibly good score. Like, I'm very happy with that. Um, Dillarang. Uh, this is um, uh, Indonesia. Everything looks like Indonesia. And I've realized a problem I have lately with Indonesia. And like Malaysia and some of those countries around there is... I know the language so badly... That I think everything is a place name. And I start looking on the map for what I think is a place name and it could just say shoes. Like, it's really bad. So, Islamic Education Center, SDKBTK, SB, why would there be different phone numbers? Hmm. Um, see, this feels like an address to me, but it might not be. Sinta Bunda, KBTK. KB. I don't know. Indonesia's just so, like, big. What do we got? What do we got? We shall keep looking. 
nice bridge. I think I just need to do a lot of practice in Indonesia. Like, I think it would just be all we do with statistics. Like, we're going like, oh, there's a lot of coverage here. It should always be there, but... International class program. Yeah, see, we're just... PG, TKST. Is these... Do these mean something? PG... TKST. PG. I'm going to put myself down there. Although it could just be near the capital. Hmm. No! No! Da 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 Now, um, I had a, a bit of a crisis of confidence today. I've always been a Windows user. Actually, that's not true. I've never always been a Windows user. I used to own a Mac laptop a while ago, but like very against a lot of Mac's policies, Apple's policies of making things hard to repair, making things expensive and you can't upgrade the stuff yourself. But one of the programs we use for the show, I'll finish the story once this round's over. Let me... Ah, I should have just gone down to the main island. It is often that island. Um, this will be able to explore around. Um, one of the programs we use for our shows this program called Q-Labs, it's for triggering music effects, um, is only on Mac. So I borrowed my dad's old uh, MacBook Air. It was, it's a 2016 model. So like that's, for technology, that's quite old. That's six years old. Like tech-wise, that's pretty out of date. Um, and God, it's good. I just, I, I'm... Would never have a MacBook desktop because obviously half the games I play and stuff wouldn't work and I just love my Windows computer, but for laptops, they just get it. They just make them so simple when all you want to do is just like use the internet. Okay, that's where we tie. Although I don't really see these very often. 26? Is that tie writing? Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. It's not here now. Why am I there? Could be loud. But yeah, so I felt like a bit of a traitor. This whole time I've been using the laptop going, oh, if I had the money, and I don't have the money, I would get myself an Apple laptop. I tried to, um, I played a quick round of GeoGuessr just for like fun on it. And if you guys remember the videos that I made when I was on holidays a while ago, the ones I still haven't given thumbnails to even though I said I would. Um... It wasn't the greatest, it was a bit laggy and everything. The MacBook, even though it's six years old, handled it really well. Now, I wasn't recording and everything with it, I just realized my camera's blurry. And we're back. But, oh, it was good. Makes me want to get an Apple laptop just for those moments where you're sitting on a couch wanting to use a laptop. They're just so good for those moments. Oh, so it made me feel like a traitor. I'm just going to click yes. I think it's Thailand. Ah, oh, damn it. It's Cambodia. What I found that, was that road numbered? No. That's good. At least the road wasn't numbered, so I didn't make a big mistake. So in conclusion, I was a trader. MacBooks work amazingly, despite all the other problems Apple has as a company. Even though it was really old. Uh, is that a flag? Absolute scaffolding LTD. I don't think it's a flag. What do we have here? Oh, is that the same sign? Because I think there was a URL on it. Dot .im, Isle of Man. I could see this being the... Oh. You know what? No, maybe not Isle of Man. So Isle of Man have parts that are this unpopulated? I feel like Isle of Man's like pretty densely populated. I wonder how much of it was nostalgia. Because I did used to own a MacBook around that time. 
Maybe it was just going back to then and using the old trackpads and everything made me go, oh, this is lovely. Please don't move. I want to look at your number plate. It could be red there, but it's also a red car, so. I mean, if it said I am, and we've got yellow backs, I can't see where else it would be apart from Isle of Man. Let's zoom ourselves in. Does the Isle of Man in the middle look a bit unpopulated? It does. Okay, Northeast Ocean. Also, Northwest Ocean. Okay. Up this end. On a mountain road of some sort. I want to like these roads, I think. It's like a little flicky out peninsula bit. Could that be like there or there? Maybe not. Oh. What does this say? Joeys. Don't know what that means. Wait, these could help. We are on the Isle of Man. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the start and look for a relatively straight patch, which we have a bit of here. And then just go for a really ambitious road alignment. I think we're on one of these. No, no, no. Oh, hello. That's about it. Tilt the wrong way. Okay. How subtle is that curve? Hmm. Yeah, I had found the right road. I just needed to go further down. That's a very good score. I'm really happy. My camera's gone blurry again. Camera, you are just not behaving today. It heard me talking about the MacBook and it's all jealous. We're in a petrol station. Also, we have already broken the elusive bronze barrier, which is very nice. We've been picking things back. Oh my god, is that going to be a .co of Columbia? In Glazia, a Colum we're in Columbia. What a round! We're going to break the 20,000 barrier too. I think it would be really hard to not break 20,000. Now that we know it's Columbia. And let's just... Oh, don't worry, I was going to say let's just get an extra layer of confirmation by seeing a yellow number plate, but that's it on a yellow number plate. Let's say $2,000 on that beer model. Oh, three dollars. They just put three zeros after it. For some reason. Message. Not relevant. Whoa, did you guys see that? That was weird. We just went on a bit of a zoom. And now it's raining. And we can't go that way. I mean, it's mountainous. We're going to be near Batoga. Just going to put it there and take a guess. Ah, damn it. But still, broke the 20,000 barrier. And I think we did well. How'd everyone else do? Oh, everyone beat us. Good job, guys. Um, perfect scores. Yeah, eight up got perfect on that. Uh, Isle of Man round. We had three people, Corsant, Coruscant, Guess Her, and 8-Up, nail that first round in Slovenia. Well done, guys. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Like, I was good on both of those rounds. At least I didn't fall so far behind I didn't get them at all. Um, really good round from Coruscant today. Actually, really good. Where else did everyone else fall off? Just that Columbia round. Anyway, I hope, oh wait, sorry, just, I just noticed, Wim Marim got a perfect score on round four. No one else got that. What was round four? Was that the, wait, that's the Isle of Man one. Oh, whoops, I gave 8up improper credit before. 8up, you only got 4,999. That's not good enough. Wim Marim, well done on that 5,000. That was just me being really bad at reading. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Camera's slightly blurry again, but who cares? Bye for now.